The top eight biggest unsolved bank heists of all time. Banks are supposed to be the most secure places on earth, but history has shown that they are not immune to heists. While some robberies have been solved, others remain a mystery to this day. So, what makes a bank heist so captivating? Is it the thrill of the chase, the cunning tactics used, or the staggering amount of loot that was stolen? In this video, we will delve into the world of bank heists and explore the top 10 unsolved bank heists of all time. Who were the masterminds behind these daring heists? Where did the stolen money go? And will these unsolved crimes ever be solved? Let's find out. Number 1. Airport Diamond Heist In the history of daring heists, the airport diamond heist that took place in Schiphol, Amsterdam in 2005 is one that stands out. The perpetrators of this brazen theft struck in broad daylight, making off with a haul worth a whopping $50 million, which when adjusted for inflation, comes up to $118 million in 2014. The heist targeted an armored truck that was transporting a large number of uncut diamonds and other valuables from Schiphol Airport to Antwerp, Belgium, known as the diamond capital of Europe. The fact that the thieves were able to pull off this feat at one of the busiest airports in Europe and was accomplished in less than five minutes is mind-blowing. Despite the large number of witnesses present at the scene, the perpetrators managed to make a clean getaway leaving behind an abandoned truck that was later recovered, empty of course. To this day, no suspects have ever been apprehended in connection with the heist, leaving law enforcement officials scratching their heads. Interestingly enough, Antwerp was also the site of the sixth most successful heist in history, which took place back in 2003. It seems that the city's reputation as a hub for diamond trading has made it an attractive target for criminals looking to make a quick buck. Number 2. Carlton Hotel Robbery while many crimes have captured public attention over the years, few have captivated the world quite like the Carlton Hotel robbery of 2013 in Cannes, France. The incident, which was captured on CCT footage, shows a lone gunman entering the hotel and making his way to a jewelry showcase. Despite the presence of unarmed guards, the thief was able to make off with a sack containing 72 precious jewels, which were part of a display arranged by Israeli billionaire Lev Levy. It is unclear how the thief was able to penetrate the hotel's security measures and carry out the robbery within just 30 seconds. However, it is clear that the unarmed guards were unwilling to risk their lives to protect the valuable inventory, which allowed the thief to get away with the loot. The incident resulted in a reward of $1.3 million for anyone with information leading to the arrest of the perpetrator. However, no arrests have been made in connection with the robbery. Interestingly, the Carlton Hotel had been the target of a similar robbery 19 years prior. In that instance, armed men wielding blank shooting automatic weapons stormed the hotel and made off with a significant amount of jewelry. It is unclear whether the two incidents are connected in any way, but they serve as a reminder of the vulnerability of even the most prestigious and high security establishments. Number 3. Antwerp Diamond Heist In the year 2003, the Antwerp Diamond Heist took place in Belgium which is considered one of the largest diamond heists in history. The total haul was estimated to be around $100 million, which is an incredibly large sum of money. The event made headlines worldwide due to the magnitude of the theft and the audacity of the perpetrators. Nearly a decade later in 2014, another $100 million diamond heist occurred in the heart of Antwerp's gem district. Leonardo Notar Bartolo was the mastermind behind the operation, who had planned the heist meticulously for almost three years. To gain access to the Antwerp Diamond Center building, Notar Bartolo rented an office in the building and posed as a diamond merchant to blend in with the crowd. After almost three years of meticulous planning, Leonardo Notar Bartolo and his team of five men executed their daring plan to rob the Antwerp Diamond Center. Their well-orchestrated plan involved gaining access to the vault, where they managed to open more than 123 of the 160 safe deposit boxes present in the facility. However, in the aftermath of the heist, Notar Bartolo made a critical mistake in disposing of the evidence that linked him to the crime. As a result, he was apprehended and found guilty of orchestrating the heist. Despite his involvement in the largest diamond heist ever, Notar Bartolo was only sentenced to 10 years in prison, and he was released early. To this day, none of Notar Bartolo's accomplices have been apprehended. The diamonds they stole remain missing. The enormity of the heist and the fact that none of the stolen diamonds have been recovered have added to the mystery surrounding the incident. Number 4. Lebanese Bank Robbery 
The Lebanese bank robbery that took place in Beirut in 1976 remains one of the most audacious and lucrative heists in history. In the midst of a brutal civil war, the Palestinian Liberation Organization seized the opportunity to rob one of the largest banks in the country, making off with a staggering $35 million, or $146 million today. This daring raid involved the use of explosives to blast through a wall from an adjacent church, but the group was unable to break into the vault. Undeterred, they called in reinforcements and took complete control of the surrounding streets, exploiting the anarchic security situation that prevailed in Beirut at the time. Remarkably, they managed to hold the area for a full two days, waiting for locksmiths employed by French mobsters to arrive and help them crack the vault. Once inside, the robbers took their time and spent two more days emptying the vault of all its contents, including currency, gold, bonds, jewelry, and rare coins. The hall was valued at around $150 million in today's money, and after paying the mobsters for their services, the gang chartered planes to fly the loot to secret tax-free bank accounts in places like Switzerland, where it disappeared into the abyss of the international finance system. Fast forward to 2008, and another brazen heist took place in Zurich, Switzerland, involving the theft of four priceless paintings from a private art museum. The thieves, wearing ski masks, stormed into the museum moments before closing time and made off with works by Cézanne Degas, Van Gogh, and Monet worth a staggering $163 million. This incident highlights the fact that losses from cultural property crime can amount to as much as $6 billion annually on a global scale, according to the FBI. Similar to the situation in Beirut over three decades ago, the banks in war-torn Baghdad were also vulnerable to robbery, and instances of theft and fraud were rampant during the Iraq War. These incidents underscore the importance of maintaining robust security measures in areas of conflict, and the need for effective law enforcement to combat the threat of organized crime. Number 5. Dar es Salaam Bank Robbery The Dar es Salaam Bank Robbery, which occurred in Baghdad, Iraq, in 2007, has gone down in history as one of the most notorious and daring heists of modern times. The country had been left vulnerable after the 2003 US-led invasion, which had completely destabilized its security and economic infrastructure. However, the robbers responsible for the Dar es Salaam heist did not resort to the usual tactics of bursting through the bank from the outside. Instead, they infiltrated the bank from within, exploiting their positions as guards to carry out the theft. Three guards who were entrusted with guarding the Dar es Salaam bank decided that it would be a better idea to rob it one night in 2007. And rob it they did, in what would go down in history as the biggest bank heist ever recorded. The men managed to make off with a staggering $282 million in U.S. bills, an amount that would have been impossible to get through the city's numerous checkpoints without assistance. It is widely believed that the robbers received help from militias, who may have also helped themselves to a portion of the loot. Although the identities of the perpetrators were well known, given that they were bank employees, they were never apprehended. It is still unclear how they managed to evade the authorities for so long whether they received any help from influential figures in Iraqi society. Some have speculated that the militias responsible for the robbery may have used the stolen funds to further their political agendas or to fund their illicit activities. Number 6. The Fortaleza Bank Heist Back in 2005, an audacious heist took place in Fortaleza, Brazil, which involved a group of criminals renting a commercial property in close proximity to the city's central bank. The robbers then dug a tunnel measuring several hundred feet, which allowed them to gain access to the bank's vault undetected. Over the course of a single weekend, they were able to disarm the various sensors and alarms that had been put in place, enabling them to get away with an astounding 164 million Brazilian real. In a clever move to avoid detection, the bills that were stolen were numbered in a non-sequential order, making it nearly impossible to trace them. The bank only became aware of the robbery when it reopened on Monday morning and discovered that the containers of cash had gone missing. Despite some of the perpetrators being captured, the majority of the 25 suspects involved in the heist are still at large. Interestingly, after the heist, six of the robbers were kidnapped and held for ransom, presumably by other criminals looking to get their hands on the stolen money. It's believed that their families eventually paid the ransom using the stolen cash. Shockingly, one of the individuals considered to be a mastermind behind the heist was later found dead on a remote road with visible handcuff marks on his wrists. In the aftermath of the heist, there were indications that corrupt police and city officials might have played a role in the crime. While investigations are still ongoing, 
the incident continues to be one of the most daring and well-planned heists in recent history. It highlights the importance of maintaining robust security measures and ensuring the integrity of financial institutions. Number 7. Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum Art Theft The infamous Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum art theft that took place in Boston in 1990 is considered one of the most audacious heists in the history of art. The robbers, dressed in police uniforms, cunningly tricked the two security guards manning the museum's entrance by convincing them that there had been a disturbance. The guards, believing the fake cops to be genuine, buzzed them into the building, unaware that they were about to become unwitting accomplices in a daring crime. Once inside, the imposters placed the guards under arrest, leaving them puzzled and wondering why they were being handcuffed. It was then that the robbers revealed their true intent announcing that it was a robbery and warning the guards not to resist or they would be hurt. The hapless guards were taken to the basement and handcuffed to a pipe, leaving the thieves free to roam the museum without any hindrance. For more than an hour, the robbers carefully selected and stole over 13 pieces of art, including masterpieces by Monet, Degas, Vermeer, and Rembrandt. The value of the stolen art was estimated to be over $500 million, making it the largest private property theft ever recorded. Despite intense investigations, the crime remains unsolved, and the whereabouts of the stolen artworks are still unknown. The art world continues to mourn the loss of these priceless works, and efforts to recover them remain ongoing. Number 8. The Carlton Hotel Robbery of 1994 The Carlton Hotel Robbery, which took place in the beautiful French town of Cannes in 1994, stands out as one of the most fascinating heists in history. The incident involves a group of armed robbers who raided the prestigious Carlton Can Luxury Hotel on the French Riviera, brandishing automatic weapons and escaping with an array of jewelry and precious stones that were valued at nearly $50 million. The Carlton Hotel heist was unusual in several respects, making it a subject of intrigue for many. One of the unique aspects of this crime was that the robbers had loaded their guns with blanks, and there was no sign of bullet holes found at the crime scene. The sheer audacity of the robbers' plan and their ability to pull off such an elaborate heist using only blank cartridges has puzzled investigators and captured the public's imagination for decades. Despite a thorough investigation, no arrests have ever been made in connection with the Carlton Hotel robbery, and the case remains unsolved to this day. The lack of a resolution only adds to the mystique surrounding this daring crime, which has been the subject of numerous books, films, and documentaries. It is worth noting that the Carlton Hotel itself played a significant role in the history of heist films, as it was the main filming location for Alfred Hitchcock's classic 1955 movie, To Catch a Thief. This film revolved around a jewelry heist that took place in the very hotel that would later become the site of one of the most brazen real-life robberies in history. The Carlton Hotel robbery of 1994 continues to captivate the world with its audacity, sophistication, and the fact that it remains an unsolved mystery to this day. The incident has become a cultural touchstone. Its influence can be felt in everything from true crime podcasts to Hollywood blockbusters. The Carlton Hotel robbery is more than just an unsolved crime. It's a testament to the audacity of those who dare to take risks for a chance at a massive payday. As we wrap up our journey through the top 10 biggest unsolved bank heists of all time, one thing is clear. These daring crimes have captivated our imaginations and left us with more questions than answers. From multi-billion dollar hauls to daring escapades, these bank heists were nothing short of remarkable. Will we ever uncover the truth behind these brazen robberies? Or will they remain shrouded in mystery forever? Only time will tell.